Hi there and welcome to a new video in the tutorial series. This one is about scouting, planning and go codes. So I'm going to show you how to scout an island, how to plan your waypoints for your units, uh, how to use go codes so you can kind of set up automated missions that kind of wait for you to say something before they they move ahead. Um, only one issue with the razor bill. Uh, any comments about that put in the, in the comment section below and maybe we can find out what happened. They have worked before. Um, anyway, I'll let you get to the video. Enjoy. Okay, so we've just got to a new island. This is a two shield island, one shield island, I believe. And I'm just going to zoom in here and I've already spotted some units. And these here, these mean uh, a unit was spotted, but it's not currently visible. So we need to get something in the air that's going to give us a nice scout. Now you can do it through this if you want. You can use your viewing scope. And you can spot these like this. Once it gets 100%, once it's been spotted and tells you what it is, if you keep going to the next 100%, it'll tell you what it's got. So this has got guns. Okay, another seal. And this has got probably guns as well. There we go, okay. So there's a few more over here. Now I'm just going to pretend for a moment I can't see them. And what we're going to do is we're going to deploy the albatross. Just going to check my loadout here so I can see what it's got. Okay, we've got some auto cannons and IR missiles. So let's go to this screen here. Okay, so from my carrier, well, I'm going to click and then I can select what I want to deploy here. And then I'm just going to set one waypoint just there. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to change this to something like, I don't know, 1600, 1700. And then go off it. So when it takes off, it's going to rise to that um, altitude. Now what I can do is... I'm going to draw some waypoints around the, the island. And then... If I join up with another one, it will loop this. So when this takes off, it's going to fly to here, and then it will just continue in this pattern here. Okay. So I'm currently just going to wait to do this. Okay, so we're back on here now. I'm just going to deploy uh, a virus bot. I'm going to set a waypoint in there. And what I'm going to do is, with this waypoint, I'm going to have it on weight delta. And then I'm going to set another waypoint here, and I'm going to put it next to my command center. On this waypoint, I'm going to get it to deploy. So that will deploy the virus box. And then I'm just going to drag another one back to the carrier. So now this guy is all set up for his uh, for his mission. He's going to wait here until I give the go code delta. He's going to go across here. And then um, deploy the virus box and go back to base. So let's look at this guy. So we're going to go to the gimbal camera and we're going to spot some. So what can we see? We've got this one here that's already spotted, uh, and there's a few over there. Let's just turn it on so it's stabilised. There we go. Right, so let's go to tracking. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to spot these. I'm not going to check what they've got. There's one. 
another. Already done. And you, and you two already spot. Is there any more? Can't see any more. Okay, so my albatross at the minute has missiles and an auto cannon. So let's give it some orders. Now, on this waypoint, I'm going to drag from it and I'm going to put it on that enemy and I want it to send some missiles to it. In fact, cancel that. To cancel it, just do the same thing again and just drag on top of it. I think they might shoot the missiles down, so I'm going to just use guns. You can see this one here, by the way, if we go to here. He's now waiting here for the go code. I do apologise, I think a helicopter just flew over my house. It's like proper sound effects. So he's waiting there. And now this one, if you look, he's gone off the waypoints because he's getting into a, a, fire, a, a firing run, attack run. If we watch what he's doing now. Gonna come in, lining up. And if you look at the altitude, you can see it's going down. It's dropping. And we'll go for the attack run. Fingers crossed. And boom, it's done. Now you can see it's raising altitude already, it's getting some fire. Let's just look out the window so you can see it. Hopefully it doesn't get hit. But what it's doing is that is now going back to its waypoints. That's raising altitude and going back up top. Let's give it another one. Go there and give it some guns. want to we can even launch another one I believe this has got yep it's got chain guns and missiles let's do the same again Keep some altitude I'm not sure what the what altitude needs to be to be out of range and this one I'm kind of gonna set it up in this kind of a direction because I want this to be my main uh, attack point. So it's going to come around here, start up there. And then I want to come down here and attack, but then go back this way. I'm going to give it an attack order to get probably... I'm not sure why it's not getting that one. Get these ones and we'll send some missiles at that. This one's coming in for another run. Let's see how it gets on. In for the attack. Man center might be in the way. Oh, there we go. He gets it. Come back up. Also, while you're in this view, you can choose what weapons you want to use. I've not uh, used ground artillery yet. Or guided missiles, but I'm going to use the carry gun. In fact, let's use the missile. Because there's a few enemies together there that are scaring me a little bit. So let's think they're on land. On water it might be a problem, but let's get a missile going. You can see on the left, it's finding the target, it's launched. And then you see the distance. Now keep your, um, keep your camera onto them because the missile will go to where you're pointing. Might only get three here. Eight, seven hundred, six hundred, coming in. There it is. And oh, oh we got. Oh, and I didn't. So took some of them out there. We can also use the carry go. That says the two there. Let's get these two. The carry gun will fire. 
it's port complete, it's fired, the shot's on the way. Excellent. Okay, that's thinned the herd a little bit. I don't know if I'll get these, I don't know if these are in the water, we'll try. There's the firing coming, and yeah, it's a bit difficult when they're on water, because it, I think if it hits the ground, it's more of an effect. So let's get these set up with another run. What I'm going to do now is, with this, um, with this island mainly cleared, I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to click Delta Go. Oh, you can also change what you're looking at as well down here. Um, Delta Go. So, Go code's given. He's now on his mission to go put them in. Let's get these set up. I missed the missiles, I think. Let's try missiles with this one. Uh, we'll do... Uh, hopefully, if they're bunched together, we might get a couple of these. But I know a lot of people are saying about single player being quite overwhelming. This is only a one uh, shield island. But you know, you can if you can kind of refine your tactics early on, then you might find ways to handle the situations. So he's just going up there. He's going to line up. You're coming in with your guns. Do you see anything from here? Just out of range, maybe. You're lining up. You're going in with your missiles. So, yeah, let's watch from here actually. You can spot it. There we go, the missiles are away. You can see on the screen they're in green. Unfortunately, they got shot down. Can't hit the albatross, but they can hit missiles. Okay, we're gonna have to use our guns. This guy's still on his way. Get another attack run set up. This one's a bit of a worry at the minute now. So I'm just gonna assign another go code to this because I don't want him to come over here. Hopefully, he's out the way a little bit. That way. Maybe we've got one there, I wasn't looking. Let's see up for another attack run. We do have another seal if we want to, and we've also got a razor bill. Uh, Totally tried these yet, so we, should we try them out? See if this can get deployed. To do double missiles, then come back home. So, there, I've pretty much automated that Razor Bill's mission. So, there is a lot of planning involved. And personally, I, I love it. And, you know, I. I I like the planning part. Gives me a Rainbow Six vibe. Here we go, we've got two coming in now. Will we see both of them? There's our albatross down there. Fire in. You gonna hit? The wall just seems hidden behind there. There we go, you got one. This guy is now going to get it with both barrels from the carrier, I think. I'm coming. Okay, he's well. I think he's below the water. I've turned foam off. Let's get them both to pick on him. Then a little bit of damage. Let's uh, see what our razor bill does. We'll watch from here. 
is on Roosevelt. Can't seem to find it. Oh, don't miss it. Get me sound of target for that. Should be attacking, it might be lining up. I think it's better if you set a waypoint far away and assign it on that waypoint because now it looks like he's coming around to line up. These two are coming in now. You're low on ammo. What we'll do is we'll get you to go home after. Oh no, you're just going to go home. Okay. <laughs> I think I should have done it on the other one. This one took care of it anyway. Let's just assign this in case the razor ball misses. Hopefully, you launch your missiles. <laughs> okay, you've not you've not decided to launch that time. Let's try and get you going over here, and then attack him. <laughs> They have launched from him before, I'm not sure why he's doing that now. Let's just test this air. I want to test this razor bill out before. You're good to go, so I'll give it an alpha go code. Albatross is coming in for landing. It's fuel at 22%. Okay, let's see if we have any success with this. I'm totally sure. He's not attacking. It did on the last island. We're going to get our albatross to come down here. Which one that number five is. It looks like your last chance to have a go at it. Can line it properly this time. I'm not sure why you don't want to fire. The good news is, these aren't as fragile, if anyone played in the playtest, these was really fragile before. We'll just send that back for now. Oh, you've run out of ammo, okay. Be something to do with the seal's position. It. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, maybe that was more of an issue with the the seal's position than the actual razor bill because that's worked before. So as you can see, the seal's coming back. So I pretty much automated that. I just gave it a couple of go codes. The albatross is a really good. For, uh, for attacking from high altitude and then getting back out of there. Just if you do that, make sure you have your waypoints set up so you're not, you know, leaving it without orders or anything. 
you've kind of given it it knows what to do. And if we look over here, Alan captured, and we've unlocked the observation camera. Excellent. Hope you've enjoyed this. Apologies about the razor bill. Not sure what was going on there. If I find out, I'll put it in a pinned comment below. Thanks very much. Oh, look at that. Great timing. I mean, you ruined my video, but great timing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if it's helped you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.